Now let's look at convection in liquids. Convection in liquids can be demonstrated by dropping a small crystal of potassium permanganate down the center of a flux containing water. When the flux is gently warmed at the center of the base, purple streak will rise gently from the slowly dissolving crystal. This indicates that warm water at the center of the flux is rising. As the heating is continued, the coloring starts to move down near the outside of the flux. These streams of warm moving liquid are called conventional currents. How does the heat get to the upper surface of the water is what I need you to think about. When the flux is heated, the water molecules directly above the flame start to move faster and further apart. The extra space between the molecules make the warm water less dense than the cool water around it. As a result, the warm water floats upward. The cool water moves in to take its place, but soon is warmed up too. The result is a continuous upward movement of water directly above the flame. The moving water is called conventional current. Heat transfer by conduction involves the transfer of energy from molecule to molecule. Energy moves, but the molecules do not move. However, in convection, the molecules move throughout the volume of the fluid, carrying the heat energy with them. So you now see the difference between conduction and convection.